I found this uh, conversation between Candace Owens and Eric Trump to be really uh, interesting. Um, it really is unclear who the stupidest Trump is. And um, I don't know that science would ever be able to answer that question. Mm -hmm. I think but, it's clear that it's probably Eric. Probably, maybe. I, I don't know. Like I said, uh, I don't know that yeah. science can. But let's right. let's let's hear him out because, um, you know, everybody knows the Trump family very spiritual, and um, they love the oh, Bible. My, my favorite Bible verse: all of them, all of them. All of and them. it's 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 too private. I, I can't share it with you. I hold it way too near and dear to my heart. Candace Owen asks a really tough question of Eric Trump, and he's got oh, a great sure. answer. And uh, here it is. You can have dinner with anybody dead or alive. You can't say Trump. You can't. Well, you are Trump, but you can't say your father. Oh, I've already wow. had dinner with him plenty of times. Well, how about Jesus? Jesus. That's a good answer. That'd be a good one, right? What would you ask him? Oh, God. <laughs> Did you envision this happening to the United States of America? And <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever envision a person as incompetent as Joe Biden running the United <laughs> States of America? How in the world did this happen? I, I, honestly, I might ask him if this is actually a ploy to show people the difference between Republican leadership and Democratic leadership. Like, mm. you know, sometimes I think about that. You know, is, is, is this part of the. Yeah. You have Donald Trump, who had just four years of despite all everything they tried to do to destroy him. Again, you know, greatest unemployment, manufacturing was coming back to this country, you know, a stability in the Middle East, the likes of which we've never seen before. And you just go through all the accomplishments. And then in about three weeks, this guy comes in and you've got, you know, gas prices double. And okay. All right. We, do we, do we, and, where are you going? No. There's no twist here. There's what no twist. To this. Can I just, can I just like, here's my impression of, this is my impression of Jesus Christ when I'm ha having lunch with Eric Trump and he says, this how, how could Joe Biden get, a, get elected? No, I'm serious. Actually, seriously though, how could, how could Joe Biden get, a I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus. I come back from the dead and you ask me about the, about, about an election in the United States and to, like, that's it. That's it. That's what you're going to ask me about. You think I'm the son of God and I'm down here to ask you're asking me about Anything. like the, yeah. about 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 an election? What? Well, what would you ask Jesus, Sam, huh? Can I just make a point about Jesus? Um yeah. you know, I'm I'm reading the Bible now and uh, it turns out he supposedly like, if you believe in all that stuff is uh, he didn't he's not dead. Uh Jesus uh resurrected himself and yeah. then ascended into heaven. So he might be confused why he's uh, representing a dead person with a uh, Trump Jr. Or, uh, well, that well, could she be said it. living that or dead. dead. She Liv said living or dead. That's why her father, Donald oh. Trump, uh, oh, right. who, he, okay. who he calls. Yeah, so you just got faced. Uh, I guess, yeah, works for both. And guys. I apologize for saying that Jesus came back from the dead. What would I ask Jesus? Well, yeah. What would I ask Jesus? Yeah, I want to know. I mean, uh, 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 you know. I would ask him about um, what's the um, what uh, what's going on with our advertising sales. On yeah. the, <laughs> what's, what's happening? No, no. Seriously, seriously though. Seriously, I would ask him what's the best platform to sell digital um, <laughs> digital products like that. Like, or what's or what's the best yeah. what's the best way to do a streaming from uh the wilbur theater because they supposedly have done not like um yeah. the the bandwidth that's that's probably what i would ask him how, how would we fix emma's lighting right like yeah, that's, that... a, yeah like where's the where's a good place to get low Let cost light. lighting um or are we gonna have to put up another pipe uh up, up <sighs> on the uh the scaffolding thing there yeah you know something like that that's probably what i'd ask matt him. says let there be light which might might win the joke <laughs> of the day um, that's pretty good but I, but I can't. We can't go past the part where at the one he calls himself his father Donald Trump, right, in his full name. If you heard that, um, and two, the suggestion from Candace Owens that 
his father, who he sees quite regularly, would, I, I mean, even if they don't have a good relationship, which it, that seems clear that he has no love to give to his son, and we get that, but, like, why would that be his first choice of a person to have dinner with if he couldn't grant this magical, if he could get this magical wish granted? Well, she wanted to head off the easy answer uh, uh, over I, Jesus, and then Jesus comes in. That's why. That's Oh, you know, uh, what? what happened at the end of The Sopranos? Just cut out? Shot? That's what I would ask oh, Jesus yeah. about that. Um, this is my favorite part of this, though. Go back into the moment where he sort of jokes around about Biden. He goes, but seriously. And I thought that he was going to then say, like, why are humans so cruel to each other? <laughs> something like, you know, like something like with if, some if God exists. Why yeah. do we have hunger and why right. is there war? Right, right. Like, this, this is my favorite part where he, Jesus, he's like, they're joking around like, no, it wouldn't be something so, so stupid as that. It would be this. It would be actually be something as so stupid as this. Go ahead. Did you envision this happening to the United States of America? And you know, did you ever envision a person as incompetent as Joe Biden running the United States of America? How in the world did this happen? I, I, honestly, I might ask him if this is actually a ploy to show people the difference between Republican leadership and Democratic leadership. <laughs> No, seriously, though. <laughs> seriously, though. I wouldn't ask him something so ridiculous as to, like, can you believe Joe Biden's the president? I'd ask him, like, is this a ploy um, to show us how ridiculous Joe Biden is as a yes. president? We want to demonstrate the difference between the two parties. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, law, the arc of history bends towards showing the difference between the Republicans and the uh, Democrats at this time. So, the you whole, know. The Holy Spirit is just conservative values. There was, believe me, we, we have been doing, a, this has been a long, long plan. Long, the long con. As, You're uh, on to us. As dad it's would say. No, but seriously, Eric, I mean, let's talk uh, son to son here. We both have fathers who are sort of overshadow us. A yeah. bit, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. It's kind of <laughs> like, a bummer, right? Like, God. God. Just yeah. That is just impressive, man. That is super, super impressive. What a lunatic. Um. All right, let's go to some IMs here. Where are we? Okay. Uh, go truckers. What is the left-wing argument against truckers? I don't see any. Stand with truckers, not corporations. Class conflict is good. Yeah, this I mean, might be this guy. This guy wrote in like four times yesterday about this very thing and might have. A new I will. One. I will stand with truckers. I will stand with the actual truckers in America whose jobs are being hurt and their, whose livelihoods are being imperiled by people who are, A, not in any way um, fighting for workers' rights, uh, and B, are not necessarily of the class that you presume that they're from. I stand with the union, the truckers attempting to unionize in California and Arizona right now. That's yeah. I stand with them. This person wants us to stand with truckers by uh, yelling at the Teamsters and saying they're being uh, PMCs by not embracing these these fascist truckers that want us to deny COVID as their main demand. It's yeah, it, I mean, it's silly. It's amazing that we have to spend so much time on a transparent op like right wing operation. Right. But, well, and also because like the conception of workers for some of these people that are like uh, trying to get us to be sympathetic to them is just because they are, are truckers. And so you have to support like you don't the left is it's not incumbent on the left to support any and all forms of protest. I support their right to protest doesn't mean I don't think it's stupid and like also, then, you know, they were breaking the law. So anyway, but keep going. I mean, the demands would make sense if they were doing stuff that, like, say, made the Teamsters say, oh, we have to support this. But all their demands are Trudeau's a communist and he took COVID too seriously. 